Hello, I'm Delusion Dispeller. Today I'm going to talk to you, as I promised in my last video, about the topic of why does your friend, your loved one, the person you care about, not leave the abusive narcissist? Why do they seem stuck in this intricate web of deceit, manipulation, control, devaluing, etc.? And although I can't give an answer on how they can get out of that web, <clears throat> because each person is very different and their situation is different, we're going to talk about what exactly is happening so maybe you can understand the pull that's going on there. So one of the biggest questions after a narcissistic relationship ends is why, well, when you see that it's ended, like it's time to move on why is your friend still staying with that jerk that control freak that manipulator that obvious narcissist person um you have watched as time and time gone by that narcissist has lied to betrayed bait and switched double bound and tried to make your friend jealous and how they drove them crazy by alternately rewarding them and then ignoring them, blaming them for things that are not their fault. And you ask with sadness and pleading in your voice, why can you not just move on and ditch this idiot? He or she is ruining your life. The next thing you wonder is, well, if the narcissist already has another person to supply them with sex, dating, adoration, money, praise, etc. Why have they not let your friend go to move on? Why won't they let him or her just get on with life? Why do they seem to keep them trapped in this inexplicable web of madness? Well, if it's a psychopath that they happen to be with, then he or she actually enjoys seeing your friend wreath in pain and agony and seriously wants them to take the blame on themselves for their indiscretions, for the narcissist or psychopath's indiscretions. Sometimes the abuser will even say things like, I don't blame you for wanting to leave me. I'd leave me too if I were you. Look at how I treat you. It's like they want your friend to leave and go, yet they again double bind them by creating a false hope about the relationship that things could turn around again in order to cause them to stick around to see what might happen next and to see if maybe maybe they could work it out. Maybe it's all in their head. Maybe they're exaggerating. Maybe if they were just nicer. Maybe if they were more forgiving, more understanding, etc. It's all part of the drama and the crises that goes along with the narcissistic web. Narcissists will do this so that it drives the victim mad. And then they can show their new supply person that your friend was nuts and crazy and bonkers and bipolar and just daffy and that's why things could never work out between them this is after they choose their new supply source narcissists will fake human emotions and behaviors in order to get the job job done creating a dependency in the victim and then later ending things with them They'll give them gifts. They'll shower them with compliments. They'll even act helpless to induce sympathy. They'll say that their former narcissist suppliers were bipolar, crazy, cruel, didn't understand them, never valued them, didn't appreciate them, etc., in order to make sure that your friend will feel obligated to be that only one who ever cared. This is the idealization phase. But the later phase will entail your friend being treated cruelly, ignored, yelled at, unfairly criticized, having promises broken to them over and over again, being left hanging on to false hopes, and finally being devalued, replaced, and then discarded. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.